Good morning, guys. We are doing something really fun. I dropped off Mary and Elijah at, we're at the main Durham Library. It's like brand new. I don't know when, when it was built, like in the last couple years. We've never been before. And they have a story time for kids. Elijah was still sleeping, his morning nap when we needed to leave. So we scooped him up, put him in the car and he kept sleeping. And so we have him in the stroller. So he might miss story time, but we'll be here for story time. But we're, we were excited. This was on our summer list of things to do was come to the main Durham library. So we're checking it off the list this morning. Okay, so we met up with friends here and they have, they've read the story they read was about a uh, paramedic ambulance. And so they have one here that the kids can check out. Woo! What do you think, bud? This is so cool. So fun. Oh, hi, Harley. What's this thing? Do I The siren. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I guess we should go on this side. Where? Well, so you can see the ambulance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Ready? Ready, buddy? <laughs> Good oh. job. Ooh, did you hear that? <laughs> Here, turn this way. <laughs> That's the book he chose. Okay. <laughs> you have one, two, three to the zoo. You want to look at it? Look at that. To the zoo. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Okay. One. One. What is that, an elephant? Two hippopotamus. Three giraffes. I mean, I don't want to say that this library is like ethically cooler than the other one, but like. This is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Got a, got a giant light bright. That's pretty cool. So fun. A kiss means I love you. Can we just say, say it now? It's the coolest library ever. That was epic. And did you know that he sun sneezes just like me? So amazing. So he, um, no, so the library is mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. And so exciting. And I can't wait to come back. And parking is a, a troubling thing. Peter had to drop well, us off because we drove around for minutes and minutes and minutes. Story time had started. Maybe we just gotta come early for story time. I guess. Plus, the, plus the ambulance was taking like yeah. ten parking spots. That's true. But that was cool to see too. 
and Elijah was very happy during story time, just observing everybody, and it was awesome. Really awesome. We've talked about making our way to this library, and we finally did it. I told him it was on our summer bucket list. Here we are. Here we are, checking things off the list. Oh, parking spot. Uh, Next time. I, I ended up parking across the street, ooh, ooh. which isn't too far, but taking a little, Should we, little stroll. Should take, we take guesses if we got a parking ticket? Oh, I made sure it was a uh, no, uh, oh, I didn't make, it seemed like I could park there. Just saying. But whenever we get a parking ticket, which I don't think we've gotten one in Durham, but we always just say support the city. And, and we're talking about the two times that we ever got a parking ticket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, no, we've gotten a couple more the, than that. I got the one in, in Boston. Arlington. Yeah. Like, I was brave and I drove myself to our church, which was 45 minutes away. This was like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I drove myself to our church for this event and I parked the car, scary downtown type situation. And I was like feeling all brave. And then I came out to my car afterward and I had gotten a ticket. I think the machine didn't work. I think I had tried uh, the machine yes. and it didn't work. So I was like, oh, I guess you don't have to pay here. Anyway, I got the ticket. And so when I got home, Peter was like, support the city. Like, All right, sounds good. All right, looks like, looks like we didn't get a ticket. So Woo! I think we're good. Success. We are home from the library. It's lunchtime Harry. and Harry thinks that he gets some lunch. Harry. No, Harry, no. We have, oh, sorry. I just thought you usually sit in the comfy seat. <laughs> we can get the other comfy seat. No, I don't like the comfy seat. I like oh, the really? hard seat, yeah. Okay. So it works out. So I made a wrap last night. It has turkey, cream cheese, lettuce, Ollie's out of water. I get it. I can't think straight when Ollie's out of water. Mary like has a conniption. <laughs> if she hears Ollie's tongue reaching the bottom of the bowl, she can't focus on anything else. But anyways, we got a cantaloupe at Perkins Orchard the other day, and mm, we also got, mm, well we showed you guys us going there, but out of our fresh produce from the farm, uh, what's it called? Perkins Orchard. Perkins Orchard, but it's called a produce stand kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I made mango salsa. It's got cilantro, lime, mango, red pepper, jalapeno. Mmm. I had it yesterday on brisket tacos. I had it the day before on, what do we have? Salmon wrap. Oh, salmon wrap with the mango salsa. Guys. Hey, Ah, when, I, when we open a restaurant, we'll let you know because it's so good. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, we're telling them now? <laughs> That's funny. Um, so we got these, what are these? Are you able to focus if he's <laughs> drinking his water? <laughs> um, are these roasted red pepper or No, they're sun-dried sun -dried tomato wrappers. <laughs> 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 That's like an inside joke from a long time ago. Uh, we are not rap people usually, but, I mean, we like hip hop, but in terms of like a, a, a rap, we don't usually eat wraps. And then we have leftover mm. pasta and potatoes, pickles, My mango salsa and tortilla chips. What more could we need? A mm. drink. Mm. Finished with lunch, Elijah went down for a nap, and I was thinking about that mango salsa, and we don't have any more mangoes, so I made peach salsa. Let's try it out. This time I did one jalapeno instead of two. I will say, the last, that mango salsa was so good, but it was also very, very spicy. So, uh, I, th I have a feeling one jalapeno is the way to go. So, I'm at the end of the bag of chips, so my chips are small. Let's try it. Home run, so good. Oh man, it is storm blowing in. 
All right, I, I just pulled all of the Look cushions. Okay, I'm coming. It looks like it's like coming down on us. Isn't that cool? Whoa, we're lightning. Whoa. Wow. It's Whoa. Like exploding. This is crazy. It, yeah, it's like the clouds are descending on us. That is so cool. Oliver, no. Wait, you sleeping. That Man. is so cool. What is happening right now? Wait, you're taking a picture of me? <laughs> I don't think there's any way to capture the bigness of this on camera. We're supposed to go swimming in like 30 minutes. You don't think that's going to happen. This is epic. Oh boy. Bonesy. Do you see the storm? Is it crazy? Oh, it's just crazy. Whoa. You wanna dance in the thunderstorm? Sure. Tom Hanks with you. Is that Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> I wanna dance with you. <laughs> <laughs> In the storms of life, I want to dance with you. Oh, wait, they were dancing in the rain, I think. Oh, where'd it go? It's like blowing over. Maybe we are going swimming. I think we have perfected the leftover brisket from the freezer tacos. Okay, here's what I mean by that. Whenever we make a brisket, we vacuum seal like individual portions of it, freeze it. And a, one of our favorite things, pretty much what we mostly do with the leftovers is we make tacos out of it. And so we do corn tortillas. Wait, let me let it focus on this. Corn tortillas, I sizzle up the brisket in the pan and brisket's kind of fatty. And as it sits in the cast iron pan, it kind of gets it like these little bits of crispiness almost like fried brisket bits. Mm. It's amazing. Southwest Ranch, avocado, mm. with some cheese, some mm. fresh orange pepper. So good. Purple cabbage. Mm. Delicious. Incredible. Okay, I think we're turning into food vloggers. Oh, I, I would have put pineapple, or not pineapple, although that does sound good. Peach salsa on the tacos, but I ate all the peach salsa before it was dinner time, so you went slow me lose some. But for dessert, we have some strawberries that are going bad, and Mary? Mary said, where did you see this? Did you see this on the Tic Tac or something? Yes, somewhere. Okay, keep your strawberries in a mason jar? No, I don't know if it was, if I was supposed to wash them first or not, but I did. Mary washed them first. And they seem to keep pretty well in the mason jar, as opposed to like the strawberry package. <laughs> Anyways, but they are getting toward the end of their life. We had a whole big package. And so, Mary's idea, and I think it's brilliant, we're going to puree the strawberries, add coconut milk, and chia seeds, and make a little strawberry coconut delight, alright? <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry Jacuzzi. Name that movie. Mary's directions on where to find the food processor. If your shin could look forward in the pantry, it'll be right there. So, he could have just said, like, shin height. <laughs> but instead, I had to imagine if my shins had, knee had eyes. Okay, here's the finished product. On these two, I added some maple syrup. These four do not have maple syrup because we're gonna keep these for Elijah.
All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here tonight and say, as always, we'll see you next time. Good night. Good night, Ollie boy. Can you give everybody a kiss? Kiss, please. Good boy.